Hey, Corbin, Hello. how you doing today? Good, Dustin. How are you, bud? I'm excellent. It's great to be speaking with you. You too. Well, are things up there get warmer yet? Uh, it's warm, and then it cools off. Uh, it's kind of faking us out here a few times already this spring. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's <laughs> spring for you. Well, and speaking of spring and um, sunshine, I-, I wanted to talk to you about uh, your new movie, Sunrise in Heaven. Can you tell the listeners uh, a bit about what we're in for? Well, uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful story, uh, uh, and it really, um, I'm trying to distill down, it's so hard to tell what a greater story is about, especially when it has greater purpose and meaning, but um, it's, you know, every day we're, we're burdened with these challenges, you know, we've been given this magnificent journey of life. And there's a glory in every moment, magnificence, and, you know, if you choose to see it uh, through nature is where I tend to see it, or through miraculous uh, happenings, you know, things are just, you know, a flower, a child born. Yet at the same time, and especially lately, and especially at my age, you know, not that I'm older than 64, as you get older, these challenges start to come, and you go, well, why all this magnificence, and why these challenges? And I think, you know, our journey is in part to make sure we weave our way through this gauntlet of challenges. And, you know, you could apply that to the title, Sunrise in Heaven. Um, you know, and, and for me, and for many like me, and many of your listeners, faith is the thing that weaves you through the gauntlet of challenges. And uh, it makes you stronger. It makes you closer to God um, and to all creation. And um, Sunrise in Heaven, the title, which is not the title of the original book by Jen Hurst, but uh, the title, which has been changed to more probably fit what the movie is, is you know, work your way through this stuff. The sunrise is always there. When you get to this, you know, not when you get to heaven, it's always sunrise. I'm not going to be so physical and geographically perfect about it, but heaven is this notion of this heaven is this way of being, of life, heaven, um, when you reach that point and you work your way through the gauntlet and you have this tool that I use, which is faith, to get to that place, then the sunrise becomes clear. Sunrise, the new day, the potential, the beginning, the opportunity that life affords you. Um, and uh, probably a little heavy and philosophical, but uh, at the end of the day, that's the deeper purpose of the movie, I believe. Excellent. And again, uh, Sunrise in Heaven coming out here in April. And you got a great cast uh, with you in this film, including uh, the great Dee Wallace. That was great that you guys were able to work together. Yeah. Who did you say was that? The, oh, Dee Wallace. I thought you said Duvall. I went like, well, he's not in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Duvall. No, Dee's a good old friend. Yeah, she's great. She was wonderful. We really haven't had this kind of opportunity to work together. That's funny. I thought you said Robert Duvall. I went, wow, maybe I missed that part. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Dee's wonderful. She's great. And plays my wife, and she's a, just a powerful actress. And, you know, one of those actresses who's always worked too strong. Um, and, you know, as an actor, you try to find an acting partner that, you know, makes you stay on your toes. And, uh, wonderful, wonderful woman. Well, I won't spoil the movie for the listeners, but I know you spend some of the film in the hospital. Can you describe what that's like, I guess, from an acting standpoint? It, it probably sounds easy on paper, but I'm guessing it's not. No, it's, uh, you know, when you, anytime you do that, well, for me personally, it it, 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 uh, it gets me a little bit creeped out, the hospital stuff. Um, uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm doing a, a TV show right now that's all about hospitals and got some blood. And it's, you know, you're, it kind of makes you a little all too aware of like, you know, sure. the, the world that, a lot, you know, a lot of people are in, um, you know, in and out of treatments and medical conditions and all that. Um, so it's not hard for me to get to the place of uh, fear or whatever one might feel there because you know, I myself feel it. Just even stuff, even if it's a movie set, not a real hospital, you, know, you just look at all the tools and the equipment. and Not fear, but you think of, you know, there but for the grace of God go I. Um, and... You know, so uh, it, it's it's pretty easy. That, and you stick me in behind bars in a jail cell, and I can pretty quickly access claustrophobia, <laughs> lots of other stuff, <laughs> isolation. Well, again, uh, Sunrise in Heaven is uh, coming out here in April, and 
Corbin, I, I wanted to ask you, I know you've done so many different types of roles over the years, and uh, a lot of people know you, of course, from the Major League Series, and um, you got kind of a connection here with us in Minnesota as uh, the former owner of the Minnesota Twins. Right. Well, um, yeah, Major League is coming up on 30 years, and we're going to have a lot of celebrations, I think, in Cleveland uh, uh, coming up at the All-Star Game. Uh, it's hard to believe it's 30 years. I mean, I've been married for 30 years. Uh, this year was, our, well, last year was our anniversary. It was our 30th year. And I remember being in uh, Milwaukee filming uh, um, you know, Major League, and my wife uh, uh, was there and pregnant, and our life was about to begin. But it's just, it's, it's, it's striking that it was 30 years ago. But, you know, just a wonderful film that obviously stands the test of time. Uh, you know, like a good house. I, I always like to compare a good film to a good house. You got a good blueprint and a good structure, and it's engineered properly, and that's why it stands and you know weathers the storm. Uh, so, you know, I give a lot of uh, credit to David Ward, who wrote that film. Who wrote this game? He's a master craftsman of architecting a script for a film. So, yeah, it has stood the test of time. Well, another film. Um I personally loved uh, you in the dentist films, and with all the reboots of films these days, could we see you maybe uh, making a part three of the dentist? Well, you know, I've tried. Uh, Brian Usman, who directed that, and I have tried. It's just it's so locked up in the rights. And we actually came up with a another script um, that tonally feels the same, and, and story wise, ventures in different areas. But uh, it's called the Plastic Surgeon. And uh, you can only imagine a, a plastic <laughs> surgeon whose mind is run amok. And uh, when people come in and want a nose job or a boob job or uh, you know a liposuction, you got a crazy a plastic surgeon. He could do some pretty crazy stuff. <laughs> but you know, it, it's a lot. But it's an interesting movie because unlike the dentist, it it it. it um, I always like my characters to have. Uh, reason, at least some reason for, you know, even if they're insane, like uh, Alan Pinestone and the dentist, but, you know, somebody comes in out of vanity and wants this and that, not when they want to change the way they look and change this, and they're perfectly fine, or they want their breasts bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, what is the guy who's crazy going to do to them, you know? Careful what you wish for. Watch your vanity. Awesome. Well, again, uh, uh, quite a different film. Uh, Sunrise in Heaven is uh, going to be out here in April. And uh, Corbin, I know I you've uh, my life. <laughs> yeah, you've done so many uh, different roles. You know, obviously horror, comedy, uh, soap operas. Is there one you prefer over the other? I mean, you've done also stuff behind the camera. I mean, pretty much a little of everything. No, what I all I care about, and and uh, this is the truth. And I know, you know, sometimes, you know, the audience who I do faith-based movies go, how can you do the dentist? And dentist people say, how can you do a soap opera or a faith-based movie? What I look for in my characters is exploration of the humanity, the human beings that we are, you know, the, the faults, the foibles, the good, the great, the, the dark, um, the evil. Uh, and I, I just like to expose that in such a way that says we're we're all in this boat together, you know. And uh, so I enjoy the, the diversity of characters and the diversity of genre because at the end of the day, a good story is a good story, and a strong character that's revealing of what something of what life is that people can identify with. Look, Roger Dorn in Major League was a creepy guy, third baseman, money guy, L.A. Law, Arnie Becker, a similar kind of character, the dentist that. A guy whose wife cheated on him and goes crazy. People still, you just said two of those films, you love those films, the Dentist Major League. Well, I don't necessarily play good guys in either of them, but I try to find the humanity in them. It makes you say, I understand that guy. Yeah, maybe it's a part of me, or maybe it's a part I recognize in life, and he's portraying that part. So, you know, I actually think doing various genres allows me to not just say, exploration of human nature and is in locked into a genre. You can only find it through horror. I think you can find it in every aspect. Awesome. Again, I'm a huge fan of your work, and it's been an honor speaking with you today. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll talk to you, brother.